Folks, this one right here is called pays the same, and it's a very simple thing. A winning ticket is a winning ticket. Whether you're betting Monday night football, whether it's WNBA, whether we're betting the ponies, whatever it is, it pays the same. So this guy right here is looking for value, where he can find it, and we found it. It is obviously NBA All-Star Weekend. Got a lot of weird stuff going on. We got dunk contests you can bet on. You got three-point contests you can bet on. Tug, what are we finding that is going to pay the same? So there's some edges out there in the world, and I don't see one in the All-Star game on Sunday night that's going back to the format, uh, back to the conventional format. And I don't think dunk contest has anything that I like. I think there's a little value in a couple of things. Let's start with a conventional three-point contest, and that's Malik Beasley of the Milwaukee Bucks. The guy does not miss when he's open. He literally does. It's crazy. And some of these other guys can all shoot. Typically, you want to find a guy who doesn't jump or who has a really easy shooting. Like, I like I, I like the idea of Halliburton because he's a set shooter, but he's in Indianapolis where the game is. I think there's a little pressure. The hometown guy always makes me a little nervous. It's almost like he uh, expends too much energy in the first round, things like that. I think Beasley's got a quiet shot, and plus 650, I think there's a little bit of value. It's a little, you know, pizza money and beer money. I think you throw on Beasley. I think he's the right right guy here. I, I think he's his name recognition is not there. Guys like Lillard and some others you hear about, like his teammate Lillard, like I said. So I think there's like maybe quote-unquote value on Beasley, but it is a three-point competition amongst NBA guys who all like are awesome. I think it's I think it's gonna be very exciting. But I think I think plus six fifty, that's great value right there. Uh it'll be fun to watch. But on the other side, this is a real new one. We got Sabrina and Steph going at it. What are we which way are we going here? So I think I think plus two hundred with Sabrina's worth of play. I think she's one of the most competitive athletes I've seen and watched. She wants this so badly, which is good. That's, in, yeah. In any competition, you want them to want it as badly. The as pressure is definitely on Steph. And Steph, I think like I don't think he's gonna be crushed if he lost right i mean he's already he's already one of the greats so. right and he's an advocate of women's sports and i think he's okay so i think he's gonna come into this okay and serena's got ridiculous range she makes everything herself just like steph now steph's different because he's everything's perfect off the dribble and he's incredible but she's pretty incredible too so i think plus two i think the right line should be like plus 140 130 so i think plus 200 it's worth a small play. Sounds like we got a deal right there. Hey, no matter what it is, it pays the same. We're going with Sabrina.